Hey everybody, Robert back with you for part two of Exploring Divinity Original Sin. I've, it's the same night as when I filmed part one, so I still have my bad cold. And I'm holding down the key to record my voice, so I'm going to lift my finger off of it if I go into a coughing fit or sneezing fit or something else horrible. So, uh, let's start moving around. These portraits are a little bit weird over here. They don't look at all like my characters. Is there any way to change that? I didn't see anything in character creation that was for those portraits like that, so, um... If, uh, if anybody watching out there knows how to adjust those, would you let me know? <coughs> I don't have a clue. Wouldn't be traits. I'm clicking all over it, but nothing... It's probably marching, marching order, or formation. All right, well, what's that? Skills and inventory. All right, well, let's start checking things out. According to the opening uh, uh, cutscene, there was something called the Source. It used to be a I guess a form of, uh, or a source of power that was used for good, and then it became tainted. And, um, it's now seem seemingly corrupted. And we're here to investigate a murder. And I think we've heard something about undead being here. Okay, somebody's talking. Looks like down here is some text. Um, I'm an old geezer, so I'm trying to read this really small print. Ish Michelle. <laughs> All right, well, I don't see anybody speaking. Nobody looks like they're standing up on the rocks. Nobody out on the pier, and nobody in the boat. Okay, I don't know who that was. There's a box. Is this shell guy in the box? Nope. Um, if I didn't know there were orc ships raiding to the west, I'd mistake this for a placid beach. At least the orcs make a bit of noise when they attack. It's dark dealing sorcerers that'll strike with neither warning nor mercy. Well, there's a shell. Is that what was talking? It says we have to go to our inventory to use the shell. Three action points. All right, I don't get it. Uh, Maybe we'll figure that out later. <clears throat> Alright, so left or right? Let's, let's go to the right. Here's another shell. Collecting shells, not exactly what I thought I'd be doing. Dead man. Let's go over Is that a corpse? What's it doing here alone? What did you expect it to have an entourage? It's got some little book with it. Let's check it out. Oh, so these is it not a shared inventory? I guess not. Journal updated. <clears throat> Rejoice. 
for the statues have granted my wish. Their whimsical nature, however, must not be taken lightly, so before I soar through the sky like an eagle, I shall attempt a mere hop from the cliffs. Down at the beach, this should be a small feat for the man that can fly. If this experiment is successful, the sun shall be my next target. All right, somebody is uh, cuckoo. Click on characters to have uh, conversate or dialogue. They both do. So. Cooperative dialogue role play. All right, that's cool. So Roderick says, Can you believe this? The man jumped off a cliff at the behest of some statues of all things. Well, great deeds require the occasional leap of faith. I myself might have done the same. No way. Pure madness. How could someone be so utterly naive? Roderick, uh, the cleric, what would he say? Agreed, call me skeptical, or... Rivalon is no stranger to the supernatural. He might as well have flown into the sunset and looked down at us cynics laughing. Uh, I don't know, I kind of agree here. Let's be, uh, let's say that, let's say he agrees. This is crazy to go jumping off the side of a mountain. Pragmatic plus one. Got a wooden crate. Nothing in it. shell. Uh, there's another shell. Oh, mighty oh. ocean, how I pine for thee. Here are shells of men. Yield me unto the water. So is that the shells talking? They want to be thrown back into the sea? We've gone in a circle. Yeah. Well, let's head back up this way. <clears throat> and is that a doorway? No, it's not. But uh, steps. Let's see where those go. Uh oh. Fight, fight, fight! The curse is upon them, source hunters! Secure the stone! I'll deal with these rats. Goddess, be with you, master! Secure the stone. Goddess, be with you. Rise! Arise! Drawn forth from blood! I bid you aid me. Okay, this is our first battle. Uh, must be the initiative track up here. Um, combat is turn-based, which I like. Move and attack or cast a spell using action points. Action points! Your turn ends when you have no action points left. Alright. <coughs> so who's first? Our cleric. What's this again? It's like, like a stance. What happens if we do that? Alright. 
seven action points to get this guy. Can we do that? Cool. Hold control and hover over targets to learn more about their attributes. Well, I held control and it uh, didn't seem to tell me that much. It looks like it's her turn now. Um, how about her flare? Can we just throw that at him or maybe this guy? Cannot reach. There we go. He's still standing, and she's still got what? Can't tell if it's one or two action points left. We had her retreat a little bit. Our cleric is up again now. Nicely done. Let's move him up a little closer. We don't have enough to attack. We'll just try to get right in his face, I guess. Alright, uh, wizard, let's, let's move her up, and I don't know, I'm not sure she can do much. Let's just have her end her car her turn. All right. Our cleric. Let's try out this healing spell. Maybe we'll move him over here, get get a clear shot from her. I wonder if facing matters in this game. I don't know. Let's let her take a shot. Their leader said something about escaping with a stone. Stolen from this dungeon, I imagine. Can we get inside? So it looks like his, his healing is continuing for a little while. Just uh, checking out that plate armor. I don't think we can use it yet, but uh, I think we can go pick it up. Alright, 
think I'll bring this video to a close. We won our first combat, and it looks like we can either pursue these uh, cultists or whatever they were, or head this way towards a stone gate. We'll make the decision next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.